Hey, what's up, guys? Let's go over leaning on the everlasting arms. Uh, it's going to use three chords. I have the C notes marked. It's going to start out with a G chord. Play your G note, every other white key. There's your G chord. For a C, move it down one, two, three. There's your C chord. And your D, move it down one, but take your first finger up to the sharp. So you play a D, an F sharp, and an A. Now again, I'll explain other videos. I use these first three fingers because what I'll do on a G chord, a lot of times, use my pinky, after you get more advanced, you play a high G or high E. So it gives a real full rich sound. So to give you a pattern, then do the same thing with your left hand. But you want to go everything, then just right. What a fellowship, what a joy divine. Then back to G. So that's G, C, G, D. What a blessedness, what a peace of mind, leading on the everlasting arms, leading, leading, safe and secure. So you can see that I was going back and forth, and I'm playing here, and I actually to make it better for the video purpose of higher. I would usually play lower in the bass here. What I recommend doing too, and I'm gonna scoot back up here. After you learn a song, take time and take just those three chords: the G, the C, and the D and do just some free play. This will really, you can do different patterns, maybe the outside chords in the middle with your left hand. Just four of those chords, doing that free play without a scheduled set really allows you to kind of musically express yourself and get used to playing different ways instead of just so structured. It allows you to get a little freer with the notes. And a lot of times too on the transition to give you another tip what I'll do is I'll play the when I'm going let's say C to G, I'll play the middle note by itself and then go into that C chord. You can see it makes that transition kind of smooth. And then again, if you get more advanced, Add that pinky finger. Now remember I have the lyrics and the chords back to the song here, leaning on the everlasting arms. I'm gonna go G What a fellowship C What a Jordy but G Back C. 
practice that song, let's do a quick devotional here. So for this devotional, in the simplest, most direct way I can put it, I want to ask you, are you leaning into the everlasting arms of Jesus? As it says in John 15, abide in me. It says, we are the vine. I mean, we are the branch, but he is the vine. He is the one that supplies us with everything. So are you leaning in his everlasting arms? Or are you trying to do things your own way? The Bible says, Christ came that we may have life, have it more abundantly in John 10.10. 10. My favorite Bible verse. Because it's through that that you realize Christ came we may have a better life, an abundant life. Not something with just rules and regulations keeping us down, but an abundant life. So I challenge you today, lean into the everlasting arms. That's where the true joy comes from. Love you guys. God bless you.